Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Continuing with forces on inclines, we have a sum here where we will highlight the importance of understanding constant velocity. Now here we read the question, a crate of mass 100 kilograms slides down a slope at a constant velocity. What is the frictional force of the slope? So now, if you look carefully, we have to first identify the forces acting on the slope. So because the box is sliding down the slope, we will have friction acting in the opposite direction. So we will have our frictional force acting in the opposite direction to the motion, which is upwards because the box is going downwards. And the box slides down the slope. And the reason that the box slides down the slope is because of the parallel component of weight. We see that if we look at the, the weight we, we've mentioned in the past, let's just highlight that again, that if we have the weight of an object acting downwards, then there will be a parallel component of weight and a perpendicular component of weight. There will be um, weight acts directly downward. There will be uh, W weight, the X component of weight acting in that direction and the Y component of weight acting perpendicular to the plane. And the X direction to work out the, the X component of weight will be W sine theta and the perpendicular component will be W cos theta. Now we don't have to worry about the W cos theta so let's just take it out of the way. And we see that the reason that the object slides down the slope is because of the X component of weight which is W X. And we see the weight pulling downwards will come out of the way. And basically the object slides down the slope because of W sine theta. Because, but because the object is moving at constant velocity, we can say the following. We can say, because there's constant velocity, we can say F of friction plus the X component of weight will be equal to zero. Because when we have constant velocity, we know that F net is equal to zero. The net force acting on an object is zero. So that is very important. So because this object has constant velocity, we can say that the net force acting on it is zero, which means that the frictional force acting on it and the X component of weight must be equal to zero. F of friction minus Wx is equal to zero. Which implies that Wx is equal to F of friction. Now, if you look at the X component of weight, we know that always it will be W sine theta will be equal to the frictional force. So we are working the, the frictional force on the slope. So your weight will be 100, that's your M, and G will be 9,8, we did this previously, and it will be sine of the angle theta, in this case it's 30 degrees, and that will be the F of friction. And in this sum, if you work that out, 100 times 9,8 is 980 times sine 30, will give us 490 newtons. So that will be the answer relating to the frictional force on the slope in this case. So the highlight of this uh, video clip is to emphasize that when an object moves at constant velocity, the net force acting on the object is zero. Because there is friction and we have the X component of weight as the only two forces acting on it, the frictional force in this case will equal to the X component of weight. So W sine theta is equal to the force of friction, which gives you 400. 90 newtons. Thank you very much.